Are you feeling a little tired? Or maybe you're bearing the weight of the world on your shoulders. Maybe it's just the end of the day and your posture is heading in this direction. Well, let me help you refresh your posture with a trip to the mountains, or really a trip to mountain pose, Tadasana. So a, a mountain begins with the earth and it rises up. So we're gonna begin with our feet and build the pose from there. It's a very quick way that you can integrate this into your daily life, even several times during the day. So you're gonna stand with your feet hip width apart. So the hip sockets and you align your knees underneath them and then the ankles underneath the knees. And we're bringing the feet parallel. So if you look at the base of the second toe and you align that with the center of the ankle, make those lines parallel. This gives you a very firm, solid, well-connected foundation through your legs and your hips. I have my friend here just to show us something about why hip width apart is so important for Tadasana. It's important for your sacroiliac joints, and that is the joint where your hip bone meets the sacrum. This joint right in here is most congruent and therefore most stable when um, the feet are hip width apart. If you bring your in line with the hip sockets, if you bring your feet together, you are actually affecting the hip bones and pulling them back a little bit and unhinging your sacroiliac joint. That may not sound like such a huge deal and it's actually very important so that we can walk and we can move our spine and our hips. Um, but when we are standing or sitting, especially for periods of time, or, or doing some weight bearing, like picking something up off the floor, we really want a lot of stability out of this joint, not mobility. So we don't want to unhinge the joint. We don't want to um, open that up for more mobility. We want to create stability. And so to create that stability, we bring our feet hip width apart, we bring our feet parallel, and you bring your weight into your heels. So you're aligning your head over your spine, traveling through the hips, down through the legs, and into the heels. The ball of the foot is grounded, but it's not bearing most of the weight. Your heel is bearing most of the weight. Your toes are light and free. So one of the ways to kind of figure out like how to get the weight of your head over your spine so that it funnels down through all the bones into your heels and into the earth is to find a door jam. So just the corner of uh, a door jam. At home, I actually use the corner of my refrigerator just because of the way it sticks out. And I'm in the kitchen quite a bit, so I can just go and, and use that corner. But go find a nice corner in your house, and you're going to walk your Tadasana back until your sacrum finds this corner, right? So be careful about leaning. You do, I'm leaning here, so my feet are way ahead. I still want to be in my Tadasana, and I'm just slowly walking it back until my sacrum finds the corner. And then almost naturally, my upper back also finds the corner. I have the natural curves of my spine, so uh, you, your lower back will not touch the wall. And you want this corner to touch about somewhere between your shoulder blades in your upper back. Many people are going to find that their head doesn't come anywhere near the wall near the corner. And so uh, just work on getting that upper back to touch against the corner a little bit higher and eventually your head will touch the wall. All right, you wanna avoid this, right? So we're not leaning, but just walking that Tadasana back so the sacrum touches, 
the um, middle of your upper back touches, and then the base of the skull touches. So also be careful about trying to find the wall like this, all right? If your head doesn't meet, that's okay. Just keep working on that upper back, and then eventually the head will come. So that as you walk away from that wall, you have this really nice aligned um, posture with the, the spine bearing the weight of your head. And that is how you take a little refreshing trip to the mountains to refresh your posture, Tadasana. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it frequently throughout your day. Now, I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, you can use this in sitting. So when you sit, you are standing on your sitting bones, right? So you can just imagine that you're at that corner of that wall, touching the sacrum, touching the middle of the upper back, touching the base of the skull. Not way up here, but a little bit more down here. So you had to put my ponytail way up high so it didn't get in the way of this. Um, and so you can use that when you're sitting. But keep in mind that the most important thing about sitting or standing, especially if you're in those positions for work, is it's the staying. So please move around, take breaks, and do a little Tadasana refresh every chance that you get. Like find a little corner in your office or in your house somewhere and refresh your posture and then go about your day. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.